name is Foxy and this is Foxy of Books and Planning. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with an um, unboxing of the Summer 2019 Cause Box. Um, I did get this in the spring and I really liked the spring box and I'm really interested to jump into this with y'all to see if this one is worth it. Um, for me, this box is really going to depend on which versions of things I got. Um, so let's get into it. Alright, and for those of you who don't know, Cosbox is a seasonal subscription box. It's um, $54.95 plus shipping um, a season, so it only ships four times a year. Or if you want to be able to customize the things in your box, um, it's $199.80 a year. Um, and there's always some sort of value associated with it that I'll go into at the end. Um, and I do have... Um, price breakdowns and why things were cause boxes reasons why these items or brands were included in the box um, to talk about as well so um, just to get started if I can not hit my camera um, the outside box is by an artist um, called whose name is Antra Sakra. I'm sorry if I mutilated that name um, she's an Australian artist, and the box came in two colorways, so there was either a beach scene or a pool scene. I got the beach scene, which is kind of funny because I got the yellow um, variation of the outer box in my last box. And it comes beautifully wrapped as always, and there's a really cool um, floral print, or I guess jungle print on the inside. So if you wanted to, you could reverse the box. And then a little sticker. All right, and the first thing on top is the straw tote from All True, which is the Cosbox in-house brand. Everybody got the same thing, and it did come in a little dust bag, which is kind of cute. All right, and so it's just a, a straw bag. You can use it for groceries. You can use it for going to the pool, um, and it does come with a little blue tassel. Um, and this, every, the proceeds of the sale of these little straw totes um, is going to provide support for ocean conservation, which is kind of the, th the theme in this box is like, be, uh, is ocean conservation. But I'm not quite sure how I feel about this. I think I'm going to like it in terms of like a farmer's market bag, but that'll also require me to actually put it in my box or in my car to go to the farmer's market. Um, it could also make a really good pool box because I do go to the pool, pool a lot, and that has a value of $50. The next thing is one of the things we had options for. So this is the swim pouch um, by Quagga Green. This came in two colorways. There was the sort of sunbursty one, and then I believe there was also a blue one. I was kind of hoping for this one because it's the less out there. <laughs> but according to Cosbox, this is a completely waterproof pouch, so the inside of it is um, neoprene, almost vinyl-y feeling, and it's meant so that you can throw a wet bathing suit in there, you can throw a wet towel, kind of whatever you want, and the outside designs were, were designed by an artist by the name of Melanie Johnson, and it's made from 100% completely recycled fabric, which is really cool. Um, I'm not sure how much use I'm going to get out of this just because I don't need this as much, but I might try and pass it along to a friend who will use it more. All right. Okay, so this next item is a set of three scrunchies from a brand called Banded Together. They didn't give a price for this um, in, the, in their um, price breakdowns, because this was supposed to be like a little extra to help fill the box. Um, but on the website, Banded sells two of these for $7. So that would make this $10.50. I'm going to pass these along. I have short hair. I don't use scrunchies. So I'm going to pass them along to somebody who might use them. All right, next, the art print. Every box comes with an art print same by the same artist who does the um, box designs. And this is the other colorway that your box could have been. So I think what they did was they gave you the card of the scene that you didn't get on the outside of your box. But it's a nice postcard. Maybe I'll use it. Maybe it'll just go on my wall as a piece of art. All right. Next item 
ah, the one I didn't want, but I'm going to at least give it a shot. So this is what, another one of those customizable options. This is the Hanalei Papaya Enzyme Powder Face Cleanser. Um, the other option was to get an aloe gel. And for some reason, I didn't write the price down. We're jazzed about because I was really hoping for the other option. So this is the Hanalei Papaya Enzyme Powder Face Cleanser. Um, the other option you could have gotten was their aloe gel, um, which also had enzymes and things in it. This is a $35 value, and it's supposed to be a solid cleanser, and this is a company that uses um, Hawaiian botanicals and natural or naturals to um, promote skincare. They're also cruelty, paraben, um, phthalate, and sulfate-free. So that's what the bottle looks like. It's I kind of like the the thing, and I like the I like the idea of it being a Hawaiian-based skincare brand. Um, I did spend um, a couple of years of my young ch young life in Hawaii, and I really do enjoy their kinds of things. Looking at the ingredients, there's nothing I'm really concerned about. About the only thing is that cornstarch is the first ingredient, but I would expect that from a powder product. And the bottle looks to be three quarters full. The powder doesn't smell like anything, but that's what it looks like if I can get it in the viewfinder. Huh. And so the instructions say to pour a little bit of this on your hand, a pea sized amount onto your hands, get your hands wet and cleanse away. And so part of the reason I'm not super jazzed about this is I was really wanting the aloe gel just because I feel like I'd get more use out of it. Um, I have a cleanser that I, I is my ride or die. I absolutely love it to death. And I'll total, I'll definitely give this a try, but I'm not quite certain if this will work because normally I wash my face when I'm in the bath. Um, also, in case you were wondering, both this and the aloe gel were made exclusively for Cosbox, so I'm not sure if these are going to be commercially available. And um, also, for those of you who care, it is made in Korea. It has a 12-month shelf life, and it is um, certified cruelty-free. Um, but I do, I do like the simplicity of the packaging. I do like the message, and I do. I'm interested to see what else the brand has for me to try, but probably not this. All right. So the next thing was one that everybody got. This is the Reef Friendly Sports Sunscreen SPF 30. Um, this retails for $15.99. And it was included because it's reef friendly. It goes along with the ocean conservation theme. So the zinc oxide is going to be your main sunburn prevention tip. Let's see. And I'll probably use this. I'm running a little low on the sunscreens I do use. So it's definitely always useful to have more sunscreen lying around, especially because we are going into summer and that's one of those things that everybody always needs. And just so you can see, it's a standard sunscreen. Doesn't really smell like anything. But since it is zinc oxide, it's probably going to give a little bit of a white cast until it absorbs, which, yeah, I've got a little bit of white cast on my hand. But I don't think you can really pick that up on the camera. So I'm happy to have it. It wasn't something I was super jazzed about getting in a box, but it's always something I can use. All right, next is, I wondered if this was in the shape of a wine cup. So this is the, um, yeah, the reduced insulated tumbler. It retails for $29.99 um, and it's a standard insulated tumbler, um, shatterproof vacuum insulated with a lid. It's shaped like a wine glass so you can drink your wine at the pool. Um, and this brand was chosen because their, their um, mission statement is to replace all disposable products with reusable alternatives that are attractive and useful. Um, so another thing I didn't really need, I have a ton of these, not in the shape. I have like the um, fake Yetis you can buy at Walmart 
in Target. Um, this one would probably be nice for somebody else. Um, I really don't care that it's shaped like a wine glass. I would have preferred just a regular cup. Um, but maybe I can use it at work. Maybe I'll do that. I'll try it at work and see how it goes out. Um, and I'm happy for it to be a plain white instead of a crazy color. All right, and the last thing, which is the big ticket item in this box, is the, the caftan, which is by Tribe Alive. This was the really big ticket item in this box. It's got $110, or $118 value, excuse me. Oh, good. I got the colorway I wanted. So this is a giant, I'm not going to unfold it because you won't be able to see it on camera, um, but this is a caftan. It came in three different colorways that if you were an annual member, you got to choose. So there's Sunburst, which is the cream with pinks and reds. There's the Seafoam, which is the one I've got which is the cream with the greens and the blues. And then there was a nautical where it was base blue with cream stripes. I'm really happy I got this one. I was hoping I was gonna get this one. So this makes the box for me. And let's see. I'm going to try it on off camera just to see how it works. Cause I've actually never had a cast hand. Yeah, it's basically a giant, it's almost a beach towel with like a neck hole cut in it. But I could see this being useful during the summer, laying around the house, walking back and forth to the pool. And it's in the, the colorway I was hoping to get, so that makes it for me. It'll be interesting to see how many different ways I can think to use this. But it's really nice. Like I've, I'm actually, I'm pleasantly surprised by the quality and the color choices. And you can definitely tell that this is something that was made with a lot of thought and care. All right. So that is everything I got in my cause box. And so now we're gonna do the part where we go through and we look and see how much value was in the box. Since I neglected to tabulate it earlier, and we'll figure out if this box was worth it for me. So, oh, and I forgot because I pulled it out before I started recording, but this is the little magazine that comes with every box where it gives you um, pages about all the different brands and what, their st what they stand for and, how, and what the cause box is supporting with pictures of all the different options. So the two bags, the three different caftans, et cetera. And so it's more for you to read about the brands, about the products, and to give you some ideas. Ooh, I made, sorry. And then more about the artist who designed the boxes. Oh, that's nice. Um, and then it's got coupons and things at the back if you wanna purchase additional things from the brands. All right, so looking back at this page, so the Tribe Alive Caftan, $118. The Bikini Pouch, $25. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I'm in screen. The Sunscreen is $15.99. That's also really expensive for sunscreen. And the, I, I'm going to admit, I buy bougie sunscreen. Because I, I, I buy my sunscreen from Sephora. Um, but I really like it because it's an aerosol that doesn't use alcohol. Reduce every day, insulated tumbler, $12.99. The skincare I said was $35. The scrunchies I figured out was $10.50. The straw tote is $50. And the card, $10. So now we do math, but let's see if Foxy can do the math today, because sometimes Foxy struggles with math. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add up these two columns separately and then add them together. All right, so. One. 
And if I'm wrong, I'll put the actual amounts in this on the um, screen once I'm done with this to be like, did, I, did, did Foxy do the math right? Because Foxy struggled with math a lot. All right, so we got eight. We got a four and a one, so that makes it seven. So according to this, I get $307.48 in value, which is about the same as the last box. The last box, I believe they advertised it as having $300 in value um, with about the same breakdown of prices. There were a couple more, more expensive items in that last box than there were in this one, but this one had a much more varied array of items. So let's see, so I paid $54.95 for this box. So let's see, the caftan, totally worth it. So that already makes this box a win for me. Of the other things, Tumblr, I'll use it at work. It'll make it so I, I stop, it'll give me a reason to stop using Starbucks cups. So that works. Sunscreen, I could take it or leave it. It really doesn't matter to me. It's just another nice thing to have around. Um, the enzyme mask, not something I was super jazzed about. Was really hoping for the allogel, but I'm still happy to have something to try this brand out. Um, and we'll see how it goes. And I'll report in my next cause box um, how I liked this. The scrunchies, totally useless for me. I don't have hair that, that works with that. Postcard. That goes in the meh, take it or leave it. The swim pouch, I'm gonna give to a friend who will use it more. And the basket, from the beginning, the straw basket. I think I'll get some use out of it. I'll probably use it at the, um, I'll probably use it when I go to the farmer's market next. So based on that, I get a value of this box for me. So that's 168, $180 value, if I'm doing my math right. And like I said, I'll put up like the actual figures in a fancy thing on the screen for you to look at. But I think if I'm doing my math right, I get $180, which is a little bit more than 50% of the box, which is not great, but it's, it's not bad. I mean, I did get some things that I'll use, some things that were missing from my life that I'm glad to have. I did get some things to pass along, which is the same with basically every box, every subscription box I've ever done, is I've always gotten a mix of things I'm really excited and jazzed about and things that I wasn't super happy with. Um, also, um, now that we finished summer, all right. And so part three of this, I'm going to take a page out of the book, out of Jen Love's reviews book that she does with her boxy charms, where she uses the last couple of minutes of the box or the first bit of her boxy charm videos to go through what was in the last box, what worked and what didn't work. So I just want to run through that quickly with cause boxes because I want to show y'all how much value I actually did get out of the last box. So of that box, there was the clutch, which was the big ticket item. This is a $120 vegan leather clutch. Um, I used this when I went to a university function for my alma mater back in early April. And I loved it. It was perfect. It was exactly what I needed for that. It was able to hold everything I needed, and I really love using this. So that was definitely a win. I knew it was going to be a win um, when I received it. It was just, um, was it going to function the way I needed it to function? And it totally does. I'm thrilled with it. Um, the next thing was the sleep mask, the bamboo sleeping mask. Love it. Filled a gap I needed. I've used it uh, uh, numerous times since the spring box, and I'm super happy with it. 
Um, the scarf, um, gonna be honest, haven't worn it. Um, I'm thinking about wearing it to homecoming this year just because my university's colors are black and gold, but haven't used it, so it's kind of a meh. Alright, the next thing was this gold charm bracelet with the moon and the stars on it. Um, again, haven't worn it, so it's kind of a meh for me. I'm not really a big bracelet person, and this just barely fits my wrist, so I'm not super excited to wear it. Um, I might end up giving this to a friend who might enjoy it more. Um, the Tony Mist, that was this Miss Congeniality Rose Tony Mist. I really like this. I've used it a lot. Um, it's become my kind of go-to morning wake-up thing if I'm not showering first thing in the morning. Um, I give myself a spritz, rub it in, and I'm ready to go for my day. And I really do like this, so this is great. Um, the Brightening Mask, gonna be honest, haven't used it, haven't even pulled it out of the box. Um, so I really can't tell you what I think about this. Um, this is kind of not my jam when it comes to skincare, kind of like the Hanalei isn't my jam when it comes to skincare, but I am going to still try and give this a try. Um, the Cognac sponge, the, um, I used it, I used it a lot, it's already gone, it's, it ran its course. Um, I love those things, I could, if someone could make a subscription box where it sent like that sponge every other month or something like that, I would totally do it. Because as much as I want to go to Sephora and buy it, I can't buy it at the Bocha Sephora price. It's just too expensive for me. Um, the last item that I had on the list, um, I don't have anymore. It was the macrame basket or um, hanging plant or hanging woven thing. Um, I actually gave it to one of my friends who just moved house and has been using it um, in her home for her hanging plants, so that worked out. So overall, of the things I said I loved, that box is still totally worth it for the price I paid, um, and I'm interested to see what fall has. Um, I am debating getting the um, annual member subscription just to try it for a straight year um, and see what happens. Um, I'm also interested in being able to choose my items kind of like with FabFitFun, um, which I am not subscribed to. I did that box once and hated it, um, many, many moons ago, and I'm not really interested in retrying that one. But with this one, it, I might enjoy being able to pick my products a little bit more, so I'm, I'm less rolling the dice hoping I get the things that I know I want as opposed to knowing I'm going to get what I want and just being able to talk to you guys about the products more. Um, but let me know your thoughts. Do you, would y'all be interested in seeing a box where I get to choose things or do you, or is it more interesting to watch people kind of unbox things where they don't already know what's in it or at least what they've gotten. Um, and with that, that's all I have for you today. Please like, and subscribe. Tell me what you think of this box down below. And if you're interested in subscribing to Causebox, I'll have a subscription link in the description down below. And I look forward to seeing y'all in my next video. Bye.